Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for the opportunity to present at this forum. My name is Bunilani Chonase. I currently work as a scientific technician at Kid Nature under the Rune Science Program. I'll be presenting some work that I've conducted while I was in doing my in training with South African National Park in Malaysia National Park in 2013. Mount Ezeb National Park is situated in the Eastern Cape, about 24 kilometers away from the town of Kaitok. It is about 28,400 square kilometers in total. <laughs> 28,000, hectares in total. It was proclaimed in 1937 for the protection of the Cape Mountain Zebra. <laughs> Mountain Zebra is situated in the transition. It is situated in transition between Namakaro, grassland, Tiget biome, and thus also contribute to the conservation of the biodiversity in the landscape scale. The portion of this study, it, it is approximately 21,300 hectares, which is fenced with the electrified predator proof fencing. Lions were introduced in the in Northern Zebra National Park in alignment with South African National Park's policy of reintroduction. Basically, the, the, the policy, they introduce wild animals in areas where they historically occur. So they were introduced in April, which they were absent for about 150 years in the park. We wanted to know which species of prey would be killed by lions and determine whether the, the prey preferences or there was a prey preferences for certain species. We also wanted to know if there was any correlation or deduction to be made in relation to gender groupings or collision between the lions. This information was considered important in determining what the potential impact of lions would be on priority threatened species like the Cape Mountain Zebra. Also, if the composition of the lion pride will provide the predictive results which could be used to mitigate potential conflicts between the park tourism and impact on the threatened species. All three lions, composed of two males and one female, we were fitted with GPS collars, which included VHF component. This data was downloaded to a computer which enabled cluster analysis of distribution points, the class analysis indicated the potential kill locations as well as home ranges. We use radio tracking to locate lions in order to collect direct observation, and we also use opportunity exciting data that was provided by tourists and field rangers to plot movement and activities for lions in the park. Kill site were investigated and prey species were identified and recorded. As illustrated on the map, Predation occurred along the drainage lines and adjacent to, to water points. The kill rate per month appeared to increase significantly after the release of the lions in April. Also noted that the, the lions were introduced towards the end of April. As you can see on, in, the, in, the, in, that, in that table, only three, only three kills were recorded in April as a result of the, the, the time which it was towards the end of, uh, of the month that time. The, the duration, okay, thank you. So although the duration of the study was limited, the highest kill rates were, were recorded between August and September month. Also over the, the study period, buffalo and kudu appear to be the most preyed upon species. In this graph, it is clear to see that buffalo and kudu contributed to the most of the lion kills. And even though the data is very preliminary, it appears as if the lions have, have more successful, were more successful at killing male buffaloes and male kudus. Kills of Cape Mountain Zebra mounted to 12% of the total population with an impact of, of less than 1% to the total population. Okay. The, the kills mounted 12% to the Cape Mountain Zebra, of which it was less than 1% to the Mountain Zebra population. 
the lions impacted 7% of the buffalo population and 5% of the kudu population. This graph shows the portion of the of the kills where this graph shows which portion of the kills were done by the male lions. Female lions, in some cases where the lions were, were, were hunting together. About 90% of the buffalo kills are attributed to the male lions, whereas 60% of the kudu kills are attributed to the female lions. Male lions contributed 53%, whereas female lion contributed 37% out of all the, the total kills. The lion ambush hunters, as stated in Potama et al. in 2010, have rely on cover from which to ambush prey. Lions are, were found to prey on a variety of species in the park, including the Cape Modern Zebra, Buffalo, Eland, Black Wild Beast, Red Hearted Beast, Kudu, Hemsworth, Hardfark, Porcupine, Bush Peak, and Watok. Noted that the Watok is, is considered alien in Modern Zebra State Park, of which the lions they did help us in the, the, they did help the park in terms of managing the, the Watok species in the park. In terms of power exploitation theory, it was expected that lions would have a significant impact on small resident population, prey population without a refugee from predators where migration is inhibited by the fence and at a kill rate of one, of one kill per 3.3 days. Lion predation can be considered casual for the declines in the Cape Mountain Zebra, Eland, Red Hunter Beast, Black Water Beast in the, in, in the park. Only four records for Hemsburg, which indicates that Hemsburg are not favored by lions or that their anti predator behavior is effective in deterring the predation by lions on the mountain zebra cell park or suggests that they did not occur in the proximity of lions. The male lions exhibited selective predation on buffalo as is predicted in work that was done by Randolph and Dutoit. The female lion appeared to prey even across the species, although they contributed most of the of the kudu kills. Large, predator, large predators have been absent to Mount Zebra National Park, and thus prey may also be considered inexperienced in relation to under predator behavior. The increase in predation during August and September month may be ascribed to the preceding low rainfall during, during the period of the study and high day temperatures. For example, the maximum of 38 degrees Celsius was recorded in the Mount Zebra National Park weather station, and 71 millimeters of rainfall was received in April, meaning for, for, the, for the duration of the study, which was six months, only 71% was received, mainly in, in, in the April month. So there was a condition, condition were much harsh for, for, the, for the prey species. So that could have forced the, the, the prey to move towards water points, to, towards water points, also be evidence of that lions have adapted to their new environment and having learned which method and species is most likely to, for them to, 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 to kill. Professor Norman Owen Smith stated that it is challenging to predict prey selection when, the, when there's high diversity of prey species available. In particular, when the susceptibility to predation depends on environmental factors. As a recommendation, it is thus difficult to preempt the risk which will be associated with the reintroduction of predators or the potential impact on any prey species. And thus, monitoring and research must be implemented, especially in protected areas where species of high conservation value occur. Further research will help define better predictive models to assess potential risk, especially to species of conservation significance. The continued monitoring of, of lion predation on the, in the mountains of Russell Park will also provide further baseline information in order to, de to detect trends or changes over the longer term, which may serve as a warning sign to inform adaptive management of the predator population in the park. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, which South Africa is the member state, recommends that comprehensive risk assessment be conducted before any conservation translocation, where potential risks and possible mitigation measures may be evaluated to assess whether the planned translocation is deemed desirable or not. 
This study was initiated at the time of the introduction of the virus in the Mountain Zero National Park when I was busy with, with my third year in national diploma in nature conservation and doing in-service training and not yet knowledgeable enough on how to evaluate the significance of data that was collected. As my results are initial indicators of what I will propose as a hypothesis for the research project. I understand I under, Understanding how, how to collect the baseline information to inform a risk, a risk, a risk. I feel that the work done here is important to allow the development of an understanding on, of how to collect baseline information to inform research project, which to or which project to decide on and develop the research methods. I strongly feel that the study must continue and that the methods must include statistical methods of which I uh, couldn't do because uh, I didn't have an exposure at the, at the university to do to, to statistics. So statistical methods will be, will be crucial in, 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 the, in the future uh, research. So that will inform the type and amount of data to be collected for significant results, which will allow an ongoing evaluation of the impact of predators in the modern environmental park. The approach to this conservation translocation can be considered as a precautionary because only three lions were introduced instead of a large pride, for example, six lions. So this translocation was very conser conserv conservative in terms of introducing uh, three, only three lions. So it provided the opportunity to collect data and assess the potential impacts at a manageable scale. Any negative impacts can currently be reversed if deemed necessary. The monitoring and surveillance is important in the resource management or in conservation, because if we don't monitor, it means we don't know. And if we don't know, it means we cannot act or we cannot manage. And I would like to acknowledge South African National Parks staff, particularly Ms. Megan Taplin, which is the park manager at Manage National Park, Craig Williams, Section range at Manazab National Park, which was also my mentor last year while I was doing my in-service training there, and Dan van de Vea, a zoology master's student at Rhodes University, who, who is currently doing his master's research on the resource in, on the resource on resources utilization between the lions and, and, the, and the cheetahs in the park. And thank you very much for this.